Welcome into the Kathy Raley Show. I'm Joe Wamba, joined with Kathy Raley, head coach of the women's lacrosse team. Finally, lacrosse season. Coach, you guys head out to Salisbury, open it up. Mm -hmm. Tough game, but, uh, you know, a lot of youth on our side and a charismatic leader in Jamie Bittner. And when Salisbury's doing Salisbury things, <laughs> she's keeping morale high. She certainly is. You know, a lot of really great things happened on Saturday. Uh, first, we have a an almost half the roster starting roster was freshmen. Mm -hmm. I mean, how often do you start to several freshmen in the midfield, several freshmen on defense? Your goalie is a freshman, um, and to go out there and in, uh, you know our nerves lasted maybe four or five minutes before we settled in, and all of a sudden we're tied tied three to three with Salisbury. You know, several minutes into the first half, so that's a really great and positive thing. Second thing that happened, um, offensively, uh, Brady and Monty had a gr had great games uh, on on you know, all parts of the field. I think that they showed that they're ready to lead the offense along with McKenzie. Um, that. Uh, we're going to have a little more experience in there, thus the nine goals against the number five team in the country. So as we learn to be better at defense with our younger players, the returning players have shown that they're ready to step up and they're a little bit better than they were at this time last year. I think we scored, I don't know, five goals on them last year, so we're almost doubling the total on that, which is great news for us. You know, Salisbury's returning um, every player outside of one, and for us to come in so young mm -hmm. – and untested and to perform that way leaps and bounds of uh, better than we were on, on Saturday's scrimmage. I couldn't be happier with that component of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and those nerves are going to happen, sure. you know, at the beginning of any season. It, it just is human nature. Uh, but those nerves were quickly corrected. They really were. You guys are going to be back at it on Wednesday yeah. with um, – with McDaniel and mm -hmm. then hosting Gettysburg, another two solid teams this week. It's really important for us to do well out of conference and to gain respect out of conference. Um, you know, like I said, I think we're ready to head into conference and, and handle those teams. But in order to beat the top teams in the MAC conference, we have to compete every out of conference game. So as a coach, um, I get teased about it a lot, but I really like to play the best of the best. Mm -hmm. I'm fortunate that the best of the best want to play us mm -hmm. uh, and are excited to play us. So I, you know, we're going to hit, we're going to hit the road on Wednesday with McDaniel, always a great team plays in a very specific way that we won't see a lot of in our, in our conference, uh, the way they play defense. Um, Gettysburg is so methodical and so skilled in every position. I think we're going to be a little bit faster than they are, mm -hmm. uh, but their 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 tradition of method um, is going to be an interesting look for our young team to try to handle. I think that's going to be a really um, springboard us as far as defensively because I think that as the game goes on, we're going to start picking up on things, and I think we're going to get better and better uh, throughout this week. Yeah, you mentioned the schedule in, in preparations for – the conference tournament. The, the schedule is built for you to be battle tested when you get in the conference and then conference playoffs. It's no fun winning the game by ten after the first two minutes. Mm -hmm. It's not fun for either team. Um, we love to be tested. There's no point stepping foot on the field if it's not going to gain us something. So we want to play top ten teams or top twenty teams as often as we possibly can. Both both sides of the ball are going to be tested this week. Yes, you know the, the offense doing their you know the flow type offense yeah. you know um real no set scripts like you mentioned right. in the season preview and then the defense gonna do defensive things you know, we we uh we really instit instituted some things that took salisbury su by surprise mm -hmm. i mean we had interceptions we had doubles that came up with cause turnovers we um took the ball back in the midfield we did some things that we haven't done in years and i'm so happy about that with the young group they don't know any better mm -hmm. which is great so uh offensively with the unscripted play i think that um I think we might need to do a little more scripting after this week is done. Mm -hmm. We're going to give them this week to see how we do. But I think we get better at that every day as well. So uh, I, liked, I liked how many people I saw driving to the cage against Salisbury, um, not afraid, um, finishing with some really good shots. So, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm pleased with both ends. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck this Great. week and uh, continuing this season against McDaniel and Gettysburg at home. Thanks so much, Joe. She's Kathy Raley. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Kathy Raley Show.